Okay, so let's cub question three, please. So plants absorb light to photosynthesize. The figure below describes some apparatus that can be used to measure the rate of photosynthesis. The rate of photosynthesis in the pond weed is affected by different colors of light. Describe a method you could use to investigate this. You should include, okay, so that is now a command word. I have to do that. What you would measure, variables you would control. And it's worth six marks. So I'm going to measure, just quickly on here, what am I going to change? So it's affected by different color lights. So this is going to be the thing I'm changing. So that's going to be my independent variable. The rate of photosynthesis here is my dependent variable, thing I'm going to measure. What's going to tell me the rate of photosynthesis? Rate means how much is happening every second. Well, I'm going to count the number of bubbles. Because the number of bubbles, the faster the more bubbles are made, the more the higher the rate of photosynthesis. So number of bubbles relates to rate of photosynthesis. What things, how am I going to change the different colors of light? Well, the easiest way is just to have, here's, uh, here's an awful drawing that I'm just going to do. It's supposed to be a light bulb. There we go. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use different color bulbs. What things do I need to keep the same to make sure this is fair? Well, I need to make sure that the brightness is the same. I need to make sure the distance is the same. Same. Temp. Same. I need to make sure the type of weed must be the same. Okay, so pond weed. Uh, I normally only need to find about three things to control. That's fine. I also need different color bulbs. I also need the bulbs need to be same brightness and type. Okay, they just need to be different color. That's the only thing. So although I said um, sketch a graph, a uh, sketch a, a diagram rather, sometimes it's easier to sketch it onto the diagram they've given you. So this is interesting here because if I said, well I've got two different color pens, if I said control variable is green, as a little key for myself, I've identified the independent variable, dependent variable, I've told you what things I'm going to keep the same. I've even shown uh, here, my, that's my IV, so that's my, that's my IV uh, there, this is going to be my DV here, and that would probably get you a lot of these marks, just that. Now, obviously, I need to make it a little bit clearer. I'm not going to get all the marks because I've not actually just used a method. I've not written it down. Um, but I'm a long way there. So let's have a look at, um, at the six bullet points. What would you say? Well, so the first thing is we would set up. In fact, what else might we need? The bubbles. Uh, I'd probably need a timer as well, wouldn't I? So I don't have a stopwatch of any sort because I'd need to keep the amount of time the same as well. I think that's a key bit. I couldn't measure the number of bubbles in. 10 seconds for one for green light uh, and the number of bubbles in um, three days for red light. So what would I do? Well the first thing is I'd, I'd set the equipment up as, it, as it's shown. So set equipment up as in diagram. I don't really need to say what, why I'm doing that, what I'm doing, but I do need to say set the equipment up as in diagram. What am I going to do then? I'm going to uh, record In fact, I'm not going to do that. What am I going to do? I'm going to uh, So I'm going to talk about the experiment once, the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to shine red light onto Pondweed. First of all, using what? Using a lamp with a red bulb. Why? 
uh, this is because color of light is my dependent on the right dependent I should have a there dependent variable okay so what what happens here this quite often happens actually um, especially when you've got much space is I've overrun here this bullet point has suddenly got too long that's fine I'm just going to script take it off there and I'm going to squeeze it in somewhere else okay I'm still going to put it in there don't panic um, if you can't fit it fit the bullet in you can always move the bullets around well, I'm just going to start this one a little bit lower shine a red light onto the palm weed using a lamp with a red bulb this is because color of light is my dependent sorry independent is the thing I'm changing isn't it independent comes to me is my independent variable what am I going to do then I'm going to count number of bubbles released in 10 seconds using what? well using my eyes why am I doing that? so using eyes why that number of bubbles relates to rate of photo synthesis and it is my dependent so it's the thing we measure dependent variable all right again i've gone over that bullet point there so i'm just going to add it to the bottom what am i going to do then i'm going to repeat Ooh, actually i'm going to talk about control variables make sure water temperature what else do we say uh, type of bulb type of bulb brightness of bulb a piece of weed is kept same. Now this might be the point where I've just gone over the bullet again. This might be the point where you realise I've run out of space entirely and the temptation is to start putting things up here. Be really careful doing that. The order that this is in make, is important. Um, just ask for more paper or if you need to put a little star continued on below page whatever but if you're going to use something else always make a note and make it clear that the examiner knows that you're, you're going on to something else. To make sure water temperature type of bulb, brightness of bulb, piece of weed is kept the same. Why? Uh, they may affect the dependent variable. Is that fine? So if I can use a bracket DV, they may affect DV. So need to be controlled. What am I going to do then? Well, it's my favourite. I'm just going to repeat repeat experiment using different colored bulbs first of all and I've still got another couple of bullets left another one so one more bullet left rather uh, it's one two three four five six in fact I've got uh, that's the, all my bullets used uh, but I could also add as well repeat entire experiment twice find averages and why do we do that to reduce impact of anomalies okay so again, really difficult, lots to write, although hopefully, hopefully it sort of makes sense why we're doing it and the order we're doing it in. Okay, I hope that makes sense.